friends uh, today uh, we discuss that uh, from the previous video part a and part b of ll1 predictive parser now we uh, pass the particular string with the help of the parsing table as we already created in our previous video okay so i take the same example uh, this is the uh, parsing table that we already created okay now with the help of this table we pass a tree for a particular string now we take a string as id plus id into id so this is the string and this is the passing table ll1 passing table for the particular grammar now i we have to check whether this partic whether this uh, whole string is acceptable for this uh passing table or not or for a particular grammar or not then for to check uh to check whether it is acceptable or not we create a table here in which we take first stack input and actions okay stack input and actions okay now we are as we already know that the bottom of the stack it always contain dollar and the top of the stack means if the stack look like this in this manner the bottom of the stack is always followed by dollar so the stack contain dollar and the top of the stack is always always contain the starting symbol it always contain the start symbol this means initially the stack contain dollar and the according to this question the starting symbol what is the starting symbol here e is the starting symbol so we place e here so thus initially the stack contain dollar and the starting symbol which is e what is the input here input is id plus id into id and it is always followed by dollar always input is followed by dollar so input is id plus id into id dollar now see e on seeing id what is the action so for finding for fi to find out what is the action e on seeing id we see we consider this table see e on seeing id the action is e it choose the production e derive te dash so the action will be e derive te dash i will repeat this on seeing e, e on seeing id the action will be or the production will be e derive te dash so we write down e derive te dash in the action section now this means that in place of this e in place of this e i can substitute te dash but how can we place this te dash means <clears throat> this is a stack here so in case of any stack in case of any stack if i place this uh, production to this stack the leftmost symbol the leftmost symbol is always at the top of the stack means t e dash the leftmost symbol is at the top of the stack so this is the top of the stack this means that if i substitute this value hold this value to in place of e then e dash come first then t this means t is at the top of the stack like this okay now after uh, substituting the value of e the input remains the same so we write it down id plus id plus into id dollar now check the top of the stack is t so t on seeing id what is the action see the table we can predict with the help of this table that t on seeing id the production we uh, it has to be choose that t derive ft dash so the action will be t derive ft dash okay this means now we substitute the value of t like t dash f because the leftmost symbol is f is at the top of the stack so the dollar e dash in place of t first we write t dash and then f okay now the top of the stack is but the input remains the same so input will be id plus id into id and dollar now the top of the stack of is f and the input is id see in the table f on seeing id the production will be 
f derive id so action will be f derive id this means that in place of f we write down id input is id plus id into id dollar now the top of the stack is id and the input is also id this means the string will be matched so it pop out or you can cancel out this id the action will remains the uh, the action value will remains a blank value now the stack now the stack will contain uh, dollar e dash t dash and the input will be i plus because this id is cancelled out with this id so the input remains plus id into id and dollar now check the top of the stack is t dash so t dash on seeing plus what is the production t dash on seeing the plus the production is t dash derive epsilon so the action is t dash derive epsilon so if i substitute t dash as epsilon so t dash will be vanished and the stack remains as dollar e dash okay and the input is uh, input will be plus id into id and dollar now the top of the stack is e dash and the uh, terminal is plus so you uh, see the table that e dash on seeing plus what will be the action e dash on seeing plus the action will be e dash derive plus t e dash so the action is e dash derive plus t e dash okay so i substitute e dash in place of e dash i substitute uh, uh, i substitute e dash t and plus and the input is plus id into id and dollar now the top of the stack is plus and the input string is also plus it this means the this match the string so we pop out this or we cancel out this plus value now in the end the action will remain blank now the stack remains dollar e dash and t input remains id into id and dollar now the top of the stack is t so see the table where for t on seeing id t on seeing id the action will be t derive ft dash so the action is t derive ft dash okay so i substitute this value of t as t dash f so i place this value as e e dash and uh, in place of t i write it down um, t dash and f uh, string is id into id and dollar now the top of the stack is f and, and the uh, terminal is id so see the table f on seeing id the string uh, the action will be f derive id so the action is f derive id so in place of id or so in place of f i substitute the value of f as id string is id into id and dollar id and id will be matched so it cancel out or it pop it so no action will be taken now the stack remains as dollar e dash t dash and uh, input is star id and dollar now the top of the stack is t dash and the input is star so see the table t dash on seeing star the action will be t dash derive star ft dash so action is t dash derive star ft dash so we substitute the value of e dash as uh, t dash f and star star id and dollar so star this star remains the uh, is matched so this pop out or we cancel out no action will be taken and the st uh, stack remains as um, dollar e dash t dash and f or input is id and dollar now the top of the stack is f so see the table for the action that f on seeing id f on seeing id the action is f derives id so i substitute the value of f as id here is id and dollar thus these two values matched so it pop out or no action will be taken now the stack is uh, dollar e dash and t dash and the input is 
dollar. Now the top of the sec is T dash and dollar. So on seeing the table, T dash, T dash on seeing the dollar, it the uh, the action is T dash derives epsilon. So T dash derives epsilon. If I substitute the value of T dash as epsilon, so it, the T will be T dash will be remain. Uh, sorry, or T dash will be vanished, and the remaining stack value is dollar and E dash, and the input remains the same. Now E dash on seeing dollar, what is the action? Uh, e dash on seeing dollar, E dash on seeing dollar is E dash derive epsilon. So action is E dash derive epsilon. So if I substitute the value of E dash as epsilon, so dollar remains remains in the stack. The action is uh, input uh, input is dollar. Now this dollar and dollar will be matched. That's why. This means that the particular string that is id plus id into id for a particular grammar will be acceptable according to this predictive LL1 parsing table. So this is how we uh, take uh, we how we solve the problem of predictive LL1 parsing table parser. For this, first we have to compute the first and follow function, or you can say leading and trailing function, and with the help of the first and follow, we create the parsing table and with the help of the parsing table, we have to uh, check whether a particular string is accept or not for that grammar. So this is how uh, we uh, solve the problem for the predictive LL1 parsing. So I hope that you will, uh, you have no problem, but if you have still, if you still have any doubt, then you can ask in our comment section. And if you like our video, then please subscribe our channel and share it. Thanks for watching.